What's up, everybody? Gary here, Safer Wholesale. So what we've got today here is a brake option, okay? And the way that these brakes are done on the Renegade Plus 2.0 and the Renegade Lite. Now, this one here has a manual brake. This is the Renegade Lite. We are actually starting to phase out the electric parking brake, and we're installing the manual one on the Plus 2.0 as well. So first check, make sure that your parking brake is not in the depressed state you want to make sure it's in the depressed state when you're going ahead and driving at all times make sure you don't smell any type of burning sensation or whatnot or burning smell of any sort and this is step one step two if you have the renegade plus we're going to show you how to disengage that electric brake if for some reason your golf cart will not roll right now it is in the stopped position and for some reason if you can't if your battery dies and you can't get it to roll this is the one step that you're going to do you're going to use what size what do we have here six millimeter allen key six millimeter allen key and on the right hand side of the motor you're going to go underneath the vehicle and you're going to screw in these two screws right here and here okay so so we don't want to screw in all the way we want to screw in about a turn to a turn and a half. If you go too far in, you could damage the motor brake itself. Okay, so let me get on this side over here because I cannot see. Okay, so you've got, there we go. This so one here. Just snug. Just snug. And so again, you're going to go ahead and screw these in righty tighty. And you're going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and check and see. It should already Now your vehicle, through. your golf cart, should be able to move and roll back and forth. Let's give it a push. So there you go. Now it's set free. For some reason, if your battery dies and you're unable to get your golf cart to roll like so, as you can see, this one is rolling freely with a pull or a push, you can go ahead and disengage your electric brake. As you can see, this does does not have the manual brake here. So that is what you're gonna do. Now step two, if for some reason the golf cart is still not moving, what you wanna do is go ahead and bleed your brakes. And the easiest way to really find out if it's the back or the front that's getting stuck or um, you know needs to be bled is jack up basically the front end of the vehicle, try and spin the tires. And then you could do the same with the back. Now, um, you're gonna ask, why does this happen sometimes? Well, that's because when these vehicles are brand new, whether it's the Renegade Plus 2.0 or the light, they're brand new and sometimes they get air pockets in the lines. And so to go ahead and resolve that issue, it's very simple and easy. And all you have to do is bleed the brake. Now, Mike, can you go ahead and explain and what we need to do here? Now, hopefully you have a buddy for this uh, set, uh, set up. One person is gonna put pressure on your brake your second person is going to come around to the front side. We're going to remove this dust cap off the nipple, which is on the back of the brake caliper. And it's a 10 millimeter? That is an 8 millimeter. 8 millimeter, okay. It may vary. Okay. On so it can be an 8 or a 10 millimeter. Go ahead. Okay, so Mike will then, my helper, will pump the brake three times and hold on the third. And now you might. So he's going one, two, Three. Yep, that's correct. And then? And then what we'll do is we are gonna release the pressure in the brake caliper and try and bleed off the air. So you see like that, we got a little bit of a burst of a bubble maybe first. Yep. And then a smooth stream. There we go. That is what we are looking for. Okay, so now you wanna do that. Now if you don't have a jack to jack up the front and the back of the golf cart, Mike, can't you just simply just do it by default to all four? You can bleed the brakes on the ground. No need to jack up your uh, cart to do the bleed. Okay, so either an eight or a 10 millimeter. Um, this golf cart right here is a 10, this is what, an eight? eight? Millimeter? So this is an eight millimeter, and you would do the same exact. Now you gotta do it to all four, correct? Correct. One, two, and then in the rear. Three and four. On the backside conveniently. Got it, okay. So there you have it. Guys and gals, if you have any issues there, now one last thing to go ahead and check if for some reason underneath you've got to adjust your brake pedal, how do you do that, Mike? If you're not getting a, a nice, you know, a loose pedal, if it's very tight, you know, not getting much pedal travel, 
you can adjust the pedal travel underneath the cart. I believe this is a 13 millimeter jam nut right here. This bar is slotted. You can take an adjustable wrench or an eight millimeter, put it on here and loosen this rod a bit and it will loosen your adjustment. Okay. As so, like that. Okay, anything else that you'd like to point out? That covers your brake system pretty much in a whole. All right, any other questions, guys and gals, let us know. Thank you so much. Again, the Renegade Plus 2.0, the Renegade Lite right here. A little bit of differences as far as the electric brake on the Renegade Plus 2.0. Some of them have it, some of them don't. And then you have your nice <clears throat> mechanical one right here, which is actually a little bit easier. Easy to know, easy to use. And then again, your same nipples are on your Renegade Lite as well. Go ahead and follow this video. If you have any other questions, please let us know. Thanks for watching.